funny how it was totally... It it's grew. funny how things change. And now it's that red. Like it just can't record. Alright, now. What we want to hear... Shouldn't it be something where the camera is like pointed directly at my face? Yeah, why don't you turn this way? Because then I have to be turning like this the whole time I do it. It's ridiculous. Please turn your body. Yeah, fucking record that shit because this shit's gonna die. Now. All we have to ask you is what is the story of Edison and Tesla? I think what you're asking here is what is the story of Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla? Because these are two historical figures that lived at the exact same time many years ago. And the first was named Thomas Edison. And many people today know him as the inventor of the light bulb. But Lots of people say that's not true. And that another person might have invented the light bulb. And maybe that's true. And maybe Tom says and did invent it. But I think what you're really asking here is how did Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla like, how did they interact? And what sort of things happened between the two men? And that's an answer that I can question with a lot more, like, stance and, like, pomp and circumstance. So... Uh, Thomas Edison was a great inventor and an American, and he was born in America and raised in America, and he was known as the great American. <laughs> and what he did was he was a huge proponent of direct current. And like, direct current is the most obvious kind of current. Direct current these days is used for like, batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go. He's gone. He's <laughs> going away. And direct current is where current's flowing in one direction. It's very simple. It's a very easy to understand concept. It's a very easy to implement concept. Tesla, on the other hand, and this is the main argument between the two men, Tesla was concerned more with alternating current, which is like the current... At first it's going this direction, at next it's going the other direction. Who knows, it can be going in either direction at any time. And it's for many reasons, and I think it's obvious why alternating current is definitely like the better current for our everyday home energy needs. And at this point in time when Tesla and Edison were like debating this whole thing it was not obvious to the everyday person which was the better implementation of electricity <laughs> and do you know why? because people didn't know anything about electricity they at this point in time people were like is, is electricity even a thing? like it's it's a crazy uh, the energy <laughs> that goes into my into my uh, intimates and it just goes but this is the point really Thomas Edison was trying to defame <laughs> Nikola Tesla <laughs> and do you know what he did? To do this, do you really not know? He would like electrocute animals. He would electrocute animals, livestock and such, and say, This is what direct current does. This is what 
alternating current does is it kills you with lots of voltage and current and if you use alternating current on an everyday basis your risk for having this sort of thing to happen to you is like way greater than if you just were to use direct current and with just like public demonstrations and falsification of of these sort of demonstrations Thomas Edison was trying to gain like a backing for direct current as being the major uh, form of energy usage for electrical systems in America during this time period and all the while our Nikola Tesla was like look alternating current is the best system because with alternating current you can have like all these things that I don't understand and it'll be better because with your alternating current you can change all these different parameters and it'll have less you'll have less loss of energy over time and it's like a better it's better in all these ways right and Edison wouldn't have this so after some period of time lots of people were like using alternating inter alternating current because alternating current is way better and it's like totally obvious to people these days and I don't know why but it is and it's like like if you ask anyone like they'll be like yeah like use alternating current so in like some places in Sweden and or Finland or somewhere in the in the Scandinavia they use direct current still and it sucks and I don't know why but it does and so Tesla came up with a way to like transport people from one pod to another pod just with his alternating current and he was able to do this with the whole person and they were transported it was successful a successful transportation and Edison was never able to achieve this Edison was trying to steal Tesla's idea Tesla invented the light bulb and Edison wanted to have credit for inventing the light bulb which he's often credited for inventing it today and what Edison did to steal this invention was to send all of these goons which are really just like men st big strong men who steal ideas he sent the goons to go get Tesla's ideas and they stole them That's all. That's the end. That's it? Yeah. Don't you have any quotes for anyone? A quote, what? Edison was quoted as saying, if, if America uses alternating current, there will be 1,000 deaths for every 1,000 homes energized. And that's supposed to be bad? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to... What are you doing? Pick him up. Here's another quote. This, you guys probably haven't heard. Tesla said, If Edison can find a better system for electrically supplying electricity for electronics, he is the better man. Do you think he is? Are you wasted?
Do you think he is the better man? I think if you would just look at this creature. I think is freaked out. What's he hunting? I think that this is like... like the painting. This is like the lesson for everything we've learned tonight. Is that some... Just a little cat can change everything. There's no bug, is there? Did I do really well? It was bad. I didn't know if you could let just let me do Charles Guiteau, it would be way better. I don't know the fucking history of the guy, Tesla and Edison.